G'day guys, today we're going to talk about the Medieval Arrow. That's coming up. Right, yo guys, so talking about the medieval arrow. Now they do differ from today's arrows and we'll talk about that a little bit more as we go through. So we have the arrowhead. These would have been made from bog iron or something similar um, during the actual medieval period. Quite cheap, quite inexpensive to make, but would have been requiring a certain degree of skill. In archery today, we still refer to this end of the arrow as the point because it points towards the target. We have the shaft of the arrow. In medieval times, that could have been made from birch or more likely ash. Lovely straight wood. Often today, they're made from cedar, fiberglass, different types of plastic, that kind of thing. Now we have the fletchings. You will note here that the fletchings are actually bonded to the arrow itself. In medieval times, they would have used goose feathers, that kind of thing. Now today, a different, various types of plastic can be used. On the subject of the, the fletchings, as we call them, you will note one of the fletchings actually points upwards. So when the arrow is knocked to the bow, we'll talk about that in a second, then you have these two fletchings which will sit uh, basically on the side and not get damaged once the arrow is loosed from the bow. Lastly, we have what's called the knock. The knock is this thing at the very end of the arrow and it attaches essentially the arrow to the, the bowstring. It's a very simple device. It's basically a way, it's, a, it's essentially a projectile weapon and in the medieval period, you'd have had it at a fairly easy range of about 150 to 200 meters. Typically, a, a, an arrow like this would be around 30 to 33 inches long. Now, that's going to depend a lot on the, the draw weight or the draw strength of the bow, which is fairly similar to today. Uh, it's going to depend on the skill and strength of the actual archer as to what they can use. And so these arrows would often have been made fairly specifically for that archer. Although as the, the period goes through, then I think it's fairly obvious that Commander's Wanted was a fairly consistent type of archer. And arrows would have been stockpiled at something like a, um, an Anglo-Saxon burr or something similar. And when a, a battle occurs, you know, the archers would go forward, grab all their supplies and then move to the battle. And you'd simply get what you get. Many different purposes for, for arrows, they could be used for fishing, for hunting, they could obviously be used for war and also for sport. Now we talk about the draw weight of the bow, that means essentially the amount of strength required to dr draw the bow to its um, full draw length and the draw length essentially uh, is the length of the arrow minus about four inches or so, roughly speaking 10 centimetres. Because you don't want to overdraw the bow because what tends to happen is uh, the arrow can either come off or it can uh, end up getting impaled into your hand or your wrist and that's obviously not something that you want to occur. Right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please like, subscribe and share. I'll catch you in my next video.